Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do these crochet knotless braids, almost like a goddess braids type situation. <laughs> so let's get started. Firstly, I have my hair potted in four sections. Potting my hair just helps me with efficiency. It's a lot easier for me to do my hair. Now I'm gonna start, not start, I've already done it off camera. What, I'm, what you see me doing here is just parting my hair and as I said I did the back off camera because for me to do my parts I need a mirror right in front of me and a mirror right behind me so that's kind of difficult to film but I've left this little section to show you guys how I do it exactly. So I'm going to take these elastic bands that you see on screen right here and what I do is fold the bands in half because they're just too long and too stretchy for me to use as is. So what you see me do here is just put the elastic band over the part that I've decided. You decide how big you want your part. This is just how big I wanted it. Now, as you can see, there is space between the rubber band and my scalp. Don't tie it too close to your scalp. Um, you'll see why during the video, but just leave some space between the hairband and your scalp. Now, you just see me do the same thing to the other part that I've made. Now, I know it looks like I'm being rough, but <laughs> don't be rough with your hair, please. You will pull it and you will damage it and you will be in a lot of pain, so just be gentle. This is just me doing the exact same thing, but to the rest of my hair. That is what I did for the back of my hair, the hair that I did off camera, the exact same thing. Okay, so the hair that I'm using is the Darling One Million. It's this value pack. I didn't even know they made a value pack, but it's basically three packs of hair in one. And this is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. It's got very blunt edges. So what you wanna do is feather it out. I don't actually know what this process is called, <laughs> to be honest, but I call it feathering. So what you wanna do is pick at the hair. So whatever fits into your fingertips, just pull and it kind of gives it this like gradient effect so it gets rid of the blunt edges because when you're doing your braids nobody wants blunt edges unless you do then okay <laughs> but yeah you want to have that gradient effect on your braids so this is going to help you achieve that exactly as you are feathering your hair you go you need to go in and make sure you untangle it don't feather all your hair and then untangle it later because it's going to be so tangled it's going to be such a mess to like try untangle so just feather a little bit and then untangle and then feather a little bit and then untangle just untangle in the way that you see me doing here hold the hair up high and run your fingers through it almost in like pulling motions yeah just do what i'm doing <laughs> Then you're going to fold the hair in half and then make sure you untangle the side that you were holding. So basically, once you fold the hair in half, untangle everything. <laughs> and by the end, this is what you should have. The next day. Now I've done the I've done my hair off camera because I started my hair in the evening and of course you know I use natural lighting so I can't film at night but I left out a section of hair to show you exactly how I do it now when you're sectioning your hair just any size that you want to go with obviously just you pick the size and then you rip it from the bunch of hair don't go slowly just sort of rip it like a band-aid and yeah, so this is the size of hair that I decided to go with. Okay, so this is the crochet needle that I am using. Now you wanna take your crochet in one hand and the hair in another. Take the crochet needle under the part that you've made. So almost like touching your scalp. Hook the hair into 
the like little hook of the crochet and then you want to close the latch hook as you see me doing right here if what i'm saying isn't making sense just like watch and follow from watching <laughs> so once you pull it through you'll have this little loop right here what you want to do is start pulling the hair it's like start pulling one end of the hair so you have like one straight line running through your part okay don't do what i'm doing i'm just <laughs> showing you what it's supposed to look like and then that little space that we left in the beginning this is where now you're going to close it you're going to tighten it because obviously you don't want it to be loose you want it you want everything to be tight and look neat so you're going to just pull your natural hair into two and start pulling make it as tight as you want but again don't overdo it <laughs> And then you're just going to proceed to braid your hair. Okay, so as you're braiding, make sure you're pulling the hair as well to avoid tangles in the end. Because if you just braid all the way down, when you get to the bottom, it's going to be so tangled. It's going to be a mess. So just make sure as you're going, just pull as you braid along the hair. And I'm just showing you guys what I do when I get to the bottom. Okay, so when I get to the bottom of the hair, I don't actually braid all the way to the bottom. I kind of leave it like this. Um, I like that effect. I like how it looks once you've boiled the hair. Now with this braid, I'm adding on a piece and you will see why I do that in a little bit. So we're going to repeat the same process. Hook the hair and then close the latch hook and start pulling. If you're having trouble, lift your natural hair and then pull. If you're having trouble with pulling the the crochet and the hair through your hair just lift your hair and lift your natural hair and start pulling and it's the same process from here on out now the reason we added a little bit of hair in the beginning for this braid is you're going to pull the hair you're going to pull a little bit of hair out from the braid and this is going to be the piece of hair that you curl as you saw in the beginning some of the braids had like mini curls to them and this is this is where it comes from because if you don't add hair the rest of the braid is going to be skinny and then it's going to look off from the rest so you want to add a little bit because you know you're going to take away a little bit so that everything looks uniform Again, this is what the end of the hair looks like and this is what it looks like with the piece of hair that we pulled out. And that's basically it. This is the hair done. Now I'm going to section everything again in four sections. It just helps move things a lot quicker. Is that how you say that? Help move things a lot quicker. So um, put the hair into four sections. Now the hair is in the four sections. I'm gonna take my flexi rods, as you can see on screen. They're not super thin, but they're not super thick. I think these are like a medium size and they're relatively long, but not, I wish they were longer, honestly. They're about the size of my face almost, like longer-ish. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna take all of the little pieces of hair that we left out while we were braiding. I'm gonna group them together and curl them because if i were to curl them one by one oh bless you girl <laughs> if i were to curl them one by one it, it'll just take too long so i'm grouping some of them and putting those in a flexi rod now if you've never used a flexi rod before what you do is when you're putting the hair onto the flexi rod just pinch it at the top so that it kind of stays in place and it doesn't unravel and move so that's what i'm doing to all those little pieces of hair 
that we left out oh yeah i don't know if i mentioned this but i was leaving out those pieces of hair on every like third or fourth braid if you want to leave it out on every braid cool do you <laughs> but this is just what i did i left it on every like third or fourth braid um yeah so this is me just putting everything into the flexi rods now the rods weren't big enough for me to put like a full bunch so i had to continue on a second rod as you see me doing here and then once i'm done with that section i just put it in a ponytail and then move on to other sections All right, so now that I'm done with those little pieces, I take each of the four sections and I put it on a flexi rod because I want the ends of the hair to be curled. This is what everything looks like with all the curls, everything curled and the ends of the hair is curled and now I'm gonna boil my hair. Coming back from boiling my hair, I'm just drying everything with a towel. Usually I air dry, but today or on this day I used um, a hair dryer because I was losing a lot of light and I used natural lighting to film, so I needed the hair to dry quickly. But I would recommend that you air dry because the curls will... I feel like if I had let it air dry, which is what I usually do, the curls would have solidified uh, like even more, but it's fine. I'm like, I'm not mad at how it turned out, but if you're going to do this, make sure you air dry the hair. Then I'm going in with this Tresemme mousse. If it looks like I'm going in with a lot, that's because I am going in with a lot. I'm very excessive and heavy handed when it comes to this sort of thing. As you can see, it looks like a mess. But the mousse does dry and yeah, you'll be fine. Oh girl. <laughs> okay. So I'm now unraveling the hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Once the hair is fully dry, as I said, make sure you air dry it. Once the hair is fully dry, just unravel the hair. Be very careful. You don't want to create frizz. I'm like so rough. Wow. Okay. Be a lot more gentle. Don't be as rough as I'm being here. And yeah, that's basically it. I went in with some um, hairspray and some like shine spray. I don't know where that footage disappeared to, but just so you know, after this, I went in with some hairspray from Tresemme, I think, and then with the ORS shine spray. And this is what the hair is looking like. I would have, I would suggest that you go, the pieces that you leave out, you leave out thicker pieces because I would have liked the pieces to be a little thicker, but it's fine. I'm not mad at it. If you do try it make the pieces thicker so yeah that's pretty much how the hair looks that's it for this video obviously i am pleased again like i said i would have liked the pieces that i left out to be thicker but it's honestly fine if you try this look guys tag me i really want to see how it comes out on you guys obviously i'm very excited with this <laughs> thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one